Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna be going over the oscillator section in this video. I'm gonna explain it the best that I can. Uh, and yeah, let's hop to it. So you have your six oscillators here and how they work, they, they work kind of different than what you might run into. So traditionally, uh, subtractive synthesizers, you'll use a combination of oscillators, filters, and uh, distortion to shape a sound. And instead of, you know, showing another synth and being rude, I'll give you an example. So we have on the virus right here, we have a an oscillator, and I'll shape it with the filter, and you can visi visibly see it in the signal analyzer. And then I'll introduce uh, distortion saturation to give it a bit more of a shape. We've done all that, but underneath, it's still the original wave. If we uh, take out the filter and the distortion. So what Zeta Plus does is instead of running oscillators through like filters and uh, distortion units and all that fun stuff and bit crushers and wave shapers, it actually... you change the waveform before it goes into all that so yeah it's kind of like wavetables but it's shaping wavetables so they call it a wave shaping synthesizer and you get some really interesting results so i'm going to initialize and where i have to find too many channels there we go so we're going to initialize and i encourage you to use uh the signal analyzers while you explore synthesizers. So we initialized and there's no oscillators present, no filters, the amplifier envelope is meh, everything is kind of a blank slate. Uh, so you select your wave, well you select your oscillator, we're going to select oscillator 1 and we're going to select our wave and we have a plethora of different kinds. So instead of like selecting a saw wave, you you have the option to select a bunch of saw waves. So you have saw waves with a bit of sine added to them. Uh, a saw wave where it has like a weird kind of DC offset, uh, vintage-like, and uh, more of a traditional saw uh, shape. Uh, different kinds of saws. Some terrifyingly synced saws. Uh, more sinusoidal squares saws and you get deeper sounds so the point of all this is you want to create different timbres and timbres are different shapes of uh, waves and you get different sounds so we're going to start with uh let's see maybe no there yeah so we have a sine wave here so this is a, like a basic a basic building block. It's a sine wave. And I made it the best I could. So one of the things you can do is you can shape. And this is the where the, the power of the synthesizer comes into play. You shape it using a, like all of these options here. And uh, yeah, you can see them. So warping it. I just have to look at my notes here. You know, these these shape the sound. So instead of, I can't really explain what they do, but what they do is, this is kind of like a fold back. So it, it folds back, it's kind of like a fold back distortion. And you twist, and what this does is it, it, it flips it upside down, but it cancels out the rest of it. You'll see that it like moves it around. Uh, this, uh, kind of shapes it. This is like kind of how like the rub happens since how they go about it. And this can give you a very sharper sound. Uh, offset. Is that wave wave actually adds a sign a sinusoidal to the actual sound. You can't really add a sign to a sign. But if you add wave you get a or deeper sound. Say if you're using one of the additive um, uh, wave shapes. You have your bit reduction you can reduce it into a perfect square kind of perfect square uh, shrink 
it uh, moves it over. It's kind of like hard sync. You'll see that it's uh, it's uh, chopping it in half and making everything zero. And you can see what happens here is reflected in the signal analyzer, which is pretty cool. You have uh, self sync, which syncs it to itself, gives it a really nice kind of kind of FME, which is awesome. I don't know what that does. You can use a different combination uh, of all these, and it really adds to the sound. Uh, you have, of course, a low pass and a high pass filter, which is traditionally what you find in a subtractive synthesizer. Uh, your fold, you know, chops it in half, and you get really neat things. So let's get a different one. So a multi saw. So this is taken from the JP8000. I wonder what this is. Um, and what you can do is you can, what the spectrum does, how can I explain the spectrum? It's, uh, it uh, causes the waveform's harmonic levels to wander in alternating directions, creating a complex phaser-like quality. So it changes the timbre. Uh, and uh, the random all and random odd, this um, uh, it it amplifies the even harmonics, making it brighter, and the random odd amplifies the odd harmonics, making it darker. So you get like kind of like how that dubstep thing is, which is pretty cool. And another thing you can do, hopefully I'm explaining this well uh, is you can grab the wave and shape it by dragging around an XY right and that's uh, basically how you do it um, so yeah let's get into more modes here of course we can transpose it up or down so what I'm doing is I'm uh, right clicking or left clicking and it goes up or down respectively uh, octave up or down so this is uh, the modes so you have your fixed free so no matter what key you press it stays the same uh, uh, pitch so normal synced it'll play normal with normal key tracking and it'll sync and it'll start at the same time oops and we can invert it. So we have like an inverted saw, so we flip it upside down, which could be desirable. So normal free is it's just a free running oscillator. And uh, inverted free is, is flipped upside down and it's a free running oscillator. Uh, multi sync, it'll sync to itself, and uh, you'll notice that this the the phase turns into spread so what this does is if you can hear that the phase like all these saws they're stacked up and they're spread across the spectrum this is a super saw so what happens is it's it's they all start at the same time they're synced if we go multi free they are free running and you don't get that part so you get more of an organic uh, free-running oscillator, which is more what you would expect. So yeah, the the detuning, the the unison is uh, hidden down here. And what you can do is you can you know detune a lot of things. So you can make like a a very powerful square, and that's pretty fun. And you can stack up as like six of these. And you can have a very large sound. Um, yeah. Um, so you have they, these all run in series. So one goes into two, into three, into four, into five, and six. Um, right now they're additive, so they they all go, you know, straight out, and that's all well and good. But we can have one uh, modulate 
the other, the second one via ring. So I'll do that. We can have it. Uh, they, we can have them hard sync each other, which is a weird sound. Uh, we can have them. Oops. Uh, frequency modulate each other. So think of uh, FM as a really fast LFO um, with key tracking, and uh, additive is basically just additive. So it's a, it's a unique form of synthesis, and it you you shape things, you shape the the physical waveform, and then you filter them. So it's it's still subtractive, and you still have modulation, and you still have you know the ability to uh, low pass and high pass to make things sound more bright and brittle and which is pretty cool and uh, yeah what else oh um yeah we'll get into that later okay uh, that is it hopefully I did it correctly if I don't please yell at me and I hope I cleared some stuff up. Oh, perform. Okay, yeah. Okay, perform. So let's go. Uh, Vintage saw. And uh, what we'll have is this is all um, different kind of bend scales. We have portamento. So it's a gliding of between notes if it's one note uh, polyphony. So monophonic which is pretty cool. Burst emulates that analog burst, that really fast attack. And drift changes the pitch, which gives it an analog feel. Analog synthesizers suck. Um, oh yeah, you might not want to turn uh, Portamento on. That's pretty cool. Uh, bend modes, uh, you can prior if you're playing a chord, the bend mode will prioritize. It'll just bend the highest note, and normal will bend all the notes, and low it'll just bend the lower notes. So it's a really cool performance aspect. Uh, bend up, bend down, plus or minus two, and bend scale is it can, you can bend it in a minor and major key, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really use that, but yeah, we also have our X, Y here. So yeah, uh, that is the end of the video, and I hope you learn stuff, and... Uh